Anyways, it's very important that you have records if you're going to lower your housing. I'm doing this project, Martin Watch Nest Data Sheet, that's it's helped given uh, scientific data for the Purple Martin Conservation Association and their website's www.purplemartin.org and you can get a whole lot of information off the internet there. Something just happened. Over here in the grass the birds are, the martins are diving. I hope it's not a young one that came out of the nest but we're gonna go investigate. He's laying under this tree. See how they're diving at it? Maybe a young bird. I'm not sure. I'll go check it out. Yeah, that's a young purple martin that apparently fell out of the nest. I know how old they are in the in the nest, but anyways, I found two dead purple martins, and I think what they're doing, they're excited, waiting on food, and maybe their brother or somebody pushed them out of the nest. So the adult martins, they'll probably try to feed this bird. Yeah, see his see his wing fluttering. I guess he's scared. Okay, I've, what I'm going to do here, I know how many young are in each nest by me taking records. I'm going to find out which nest he fell out of, and it'll be real simple to do because I've got records. I'll just simply find out which nest is minus, minus one bird. When I, when I determine that, I'll just place him back in the correct nest. That this this is a very good reason why you keep records. I'm going to save this little bird's life. You know, otherwise down here on the ground he's not old enough to fly. A cat could get him. Anything. So this is pretty interesting. Looked at my nest data sheet and I figured out that there's no way this young bird came out of the house. He had to come out of the gorge. So we're going to go ahead and lower this gorge. Young purple martin's laying in the grass. I haven't done this in a long time. If he takes off running, then I'll get a fishing net or something I can catch him. But I'm going to try to just sneak up on him and grab him. And if I can do that, I'll walk him right over and put him right in the gourd. All right, see, he's going to fly a little bit. I might be able to catch him. I'll try. Alright, now I'm going to take the camera closer to the gourds and let you see some up close. Alright, this one right here is gourd rack number 10. Here's 11 that he came out of. I just simply put him right inside the hole. I just unscrew the gourd rack lid. Now if I do this too late, they'll actually try to get out that hole. So I'm still safe to show them. They, they shouldn't really get out. Now, see, by records, I knew I had to have five birds in here and there was only four. Let me look real quick. Well, there's five in there. I know these two are on top of another one. These birds are not too many days away from fledging and that means they leave the nest and start flying on their own. In the heat of the afternoon, it's about 94 degrees and I wanted to show you the nest that I was trying to show you earlier and the battery died. This is gourd compartment number five. This is my youngest nest on the gourd rack. These are, oh, about a week away. Maybe I'll have to figure it out. I should have been ready. But anyways, they're, I'm going to guess, 10 days from ready to fly. Aren't they cute? They're young. Anyways, when I do a nest check, there's other things I look for down on the ground. It can be signs of, of any, a lot of things. Now what I'm noticing here, just a lot of bird droppings, which is normal. I think they usually carry the fecal sac away from the nest, but obviously all of them doesn't. Now one of my nests, all of the all of the eggs didn't hatch. And right here, right here's an egg in the ground that parents must have just discarded out of the nest. You know, that's normal. It's you'd like to see every one of them hatch, but it usually doesn't happen. Now I found a bug around here somewhere that big oh here it is. This is what they normally bring into the to the young. That's part of a dragonfly. 
I, I don't know if he how he got down here but the other day I seen about five of them things laying around here Martins eat all kinds of different insects okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna look at this house now this house y'all gonna find out how come it's very important to have housing that's easy to lower this one's not easy to lower but it's been in the family for a long time this is one we had at our house when I was a young boy and it's got some sentimental value so I put up with it but I'm gonna put a ladder up and do a nest check there this will be real interesting also before I lower it I'll look at my records and by looking at all my dates that I've kept I know what to expect in gourd in house with compartment number one I'm expecting four eggs but that was June 21st today's the 25th there's a good chance they may have hatched but I have four young and number two four young and three I have five young that was three days old the last time I checked and five and then five young and six so let's climb the ladder we'll be real careful and I'll try to show you the inside of this house all right now I'm opening compartment number one this looks like a 12 compartment house but what I've done I've doubled the size of compartments and you'll see when I open the door but I only have six available nests here and five of them are are taken now look at them little baby birds and you can see I've opened this back door that's plugged you can look through where I've drilled a hole and they actually use the entrance hole on the other side okay now we're gonna look at compartment number three we should have some young in this one I open the door slow because I don't want them to fly out or nothing look at that poor guy he's hot we've got one two three four and there may be another one up there in that front room see they come out they come out this hole on the side that's why you can't see through it but when these babies get big they'll be able to have plenty of room otherwise they'd be cramped in there they look kind of hot I may check out information on the Purple Martin Conservation Association's website and see about something I can do to make them a little bit cooler but they look fairly okay they're just a little hot okay I've checked my records and climbed back up the ladder in compartment number one and three is exactly what I expected the number of young to be now this one in compartment number five should be five young and I think these are going to be about the same age as the last one we looked at yeah now see I'm gonna have to be careful when I shut that door I'm expecting five young there's five of them in there you can see this is the back room and they use the entrance hole on the other side but unlike other birds their parents will not mind a bit they they don't mind the human the smell of human scent but I'm gonna turn this little guy around so I can shut this door safely boy they're they're pretty warm they feel they, they look all right now I'm gonna just see yeah I could I could shut the door he'll he'll be all right well I'll back him up just a little bit now I need to make sure this door will close okay but anyways four was always empty I'm doing real good only six cavities on this house and got five nests in it uh oh look they're falling out you say whoa now look at that I've got one two three four five young birds look at them feathers growing see he was leaning against that wall and I held the door open go on back up in there these this is a healthy looking nest hello there little buddy anyways that's the end of our nest check